So what happens here is if I start to transmit my data, and here in the top diagram I'm sending my data frames, and everything's going really good, and all of a sudden something transmits in my frequency band and causes interference. What happens is that I can't recover those bits. If that interference is stronger than my transmitted signal, then I'm going to lose bits. And in which case, I might have to retransmit that frame again. So what I'm looking at here is I'm going to transmit at a certain power level and when interference occurs, if interference is significantly above the power level that I'm transmitting at, then I'm going to suffer a potential loss of data. What this means is that it's really important for your signal to be significantly above your noise and interference level. And so one of the critical factors that we measure when we're operating our wireless LAN is the signal to noise plus interference ratio, sometimes just referred to the signal as noise ratio. And it really is that threshold value above the interference that allows me to recover my signal and successfully demodulate it and decode it. Now one of the challenging things of course is that interference comes from a lot of different sources and so you know when I put on my microwave oven I could get some interference. When people start using the cordless phone it could create some interference. When they're using their Bluetooth device with their cell phone it could create some interference. Or if my neighbor transmits on the wireless LAN, it could cause interference. And it's really a matter of the interference where you are, where you're trying to receive the signal. That is the signal to interference ratio that you care about. Is at that moment in time, do I have enough signal strength to recover your signal? So very important for you to understand what the signal to noise plus interference ratio is. Typically people just call it the signal to noise ratio, the SNR.